Hey everyone, today I'm in Martinsville, Virginia, and behind me is the Virginia Museum of Natural History. So come along with me as I check it out. First thing you see when you come in is this ground sloth. So it became extinct around 11,000 years ago, and it resembled when it was alive a bear. So they said it was actually this large when uh, it lived, which is really crazy to think about. It's an herbivore, was an herbivore, but look at them claws. Wouldn't want to run into that thing. Here you got a Virginia possum, and next to it is a skeleton of a possum. Here you've got a rattle made from a turtle shell that uh, Virginia Indians used to make. Got an owl right here, swooping down on its prey is how it looks. Here's a big old croc. Here's a skeleton of a Allosaurus or Allosaurus. I'm not sure exactly the correct pronunciation of it, but uh, it said that this was found in Wyoming that Virginia has never actually had any dinosaur skeletons found, but that they know that there were dinosaurs in Virginia because there are fossils of their tracks. And this big guy right here, although he looks very similar to a T-Rex, this is actually an Acrocanthosaurus, if I am pronouncing that correctly. This skeleton is of a whale, a prehistoric whale called Eobalanitopetera. I have no idea how to say it. Here are some bones of a saber-toothed cat from back during uh, the last ice age. Got it like as if it would be eating its prey. It's a bones eating bones. And you can see over here, looks like a little baby saber tooth. Here are uh, some skeletons of some giant beavers. One swimming, supposed to be swimming. The other one on land. Both also come from the ice age period. And here's the skull of a mastodon. Here's a model of a protoceratops right alongside a skeleton of a protoceratops. And here is the skull of a triceratops. The thing is huge. Here is a skull of a Pachycephalosaurus, those dinosaurs that had the hard plated heads. And you often would see like in the movies, they're head butting each other. Well, here you can see in comparison, the skull of a bighorn sheep. It's really not all that much different in size. Here you got the skeleton of a Stegosaurus. Here's the leg of a Tyrannosaurus. The leg itself is bigger than me, obviously. You got a bunch of taxidermy animals along the wall here. The buffalo. Hyena, right here. Got a cheetah up here on the wall. Here we got a lion and a lioness attacking a buffalo. 
for their food. Showing from the insides of what our planet looks like. Here we got a bunch of arrowheads. Here they got this little interactive thing where you're supposed to be able to put this turtle shell together. And the white pieces are supposed to represent missing pieces of the shell. So that's it. I'm gonna scatter it up for the next person. Here is a spinal column of a whale that you're supposed to be able to put the pieces together just to see how scientists put the bones of animals together. And here you got some rock. Lift the layers to see what fossils you can find. I see them. I'm not sure what they are. Fish. Now this is cool. This is a 3D topographical map that you can interact with and it will change. Watch. Bring this through and it drags the water, recreates the water. And if you put your hand over it, it's supposed to create a storm, rain clouds. Bring some water between the houses. Yep, knock the house over. Make a little island out here in the water. That's pretty cool. So you got this thing right here, it looks like some underground mines. It says where coal starts. And then it says, push the button to see Virginia 300 million years ago. So let's see it. We got a little creature coming down here. And that's it, and then we're transported back to the mines. Here's a little area called Discovery Reef, which looks like a little area here at the museum for children to play. Got some kids' books. Got this boat for kids to climb on and play in. Got a big old blackboard on the wall for them to write and draw with chalk. There's a the chalk. Some more toys. So yeah, a little kid area at a museum. Convenient and cool if you got kids. They've got three levels to the museum. They got a, the main level and upstairs and a basement. You can take the stairs or an elevator. 
I'm going to take the stairs. Got a big shark mouth. Yeah, Megalodon. A shark that big coming at you in the water. Here's the bone of a flipper of a plesiosaurus. He got the skull of a Tylosaurus. It was the largest mosasaur that lived in the Western Interior Seaway, reaching a length of 42 feet when it was alive. Here's the head of a, what they call a platycarpus. Looks a lot like a giant snake. Here they got some skeletons hanging from the ceiling that you can see better from upstairs. This is a skeleton of a platycarpus. Platycarpus grew up to 17 feet in length and was a common mosasaur in the shallow interior sea. It was found in the Smoky Hill Chalk of Kansas. Here's a skeleton of what I believed was a pterodactyl, but it says it's called a pteranodon. All right, this nice looking fish was called a Dunkleostes terelli, or something like that, if I'm pronouncing it right. This is just a small version of what it looked like. It says that they actually grew up to lengths of excess of 20 feet. So here you can see a larger version of what the actual size of the head of that fish would have looked like. So that's it on the upper level. There's not a whole lot to see up here. It's definitely much smaller than the first floor. So I'm going to go down to the basement now, see what's down there. Coming down here to the basement level, we got a bunch of, looks like shower tiles with a bunch of little dinosaurs and stuff drawn and created by little kids. And before you even get out of the stairwell down here in the basement level, you got some artifacts. You got a Phytosaurus. So it says the name Phytosaurus actually means plant reptiles. I don't know why it was ever called that. So scientists later realized that it was strictly carnivorous and related to crocodiles. There's a skull of one. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows why scientists ever thought this thing was a plant eater when they first discovered it. Got a bunch of ant stuff here when you come down here to the basement. The hidden life of ants. Got a bunch of ants, piece of side of a piece of bark, piece of a tree, picture of an ant hill. Here's some close up images of them. Ant's head. Body, a little colony of them. So, so far, the basement level is still predominantly about ants. There's an ant nest right here. It's always fascinated me, the little colonies and what they make underground. Oh, it says you can touch it, please touch gently. I don't know, it's just, it's just rough feeling, which I expected it would. Oh, here we go, something that's not ants. So we've got a live snake here named Reggie. Says Reggie's humidity hide. It helps her with her shed. Got some cockroaches. Come to the museum to see some cockroaches. 
But these are some giant cockroaches right here. Here we got a little swimming pool for some turtles and some fish. So this is actually pretty cool. You got this ant colony right here. All these connected boxes. And you can see the ants traveling between them. Here they have a model of a green spotted beetle and a gypsy moth caterpillar. It's an interesting design of that caterpillar. So back on the first floor, and uh, that's pretty much most of the museum. So the only thing left to go see before I leave is the gift store. So let's go check that out. Got some t-shirts, mugs, got a little plushy octopus here. Rattlesnake, some coffee cups, some more toys and stuffed animals, bear, and some more toys. Got some magnets and some after dinner mints. So that was the Virginia Museum of Natural History. It was actually pretty cool. I'm glad I came and saw it. Um, definitely something kids would enjoy, I think, if you brought kids, and definitely not limited to kids. Um, definitely plenty here. I think adults would enjoy it too. But yeah, definitely very cool. Located in Martinsville, Virginia. So if you're ever in the area and uh, where you just look into travel and check something out, like I said, come check out the Virginia Museum of Natural History. So thanks for watching as always. And uh, until the next one, peace.